Hey, welcome back to Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a really nifty trick on your G Suite. Um, this little tiny tab that can be useful when you need to schedule meetings. Okay, so um, welcome back to Squid. This is a very simple um, tutorial that I'm gonna show you. Uh, it might be very obvious to some of you, and for others it may be, hey, you know what, I never spotted that right there in the corner. So I'm gonna show you um, uh, this, what it is, it's how to schedule a meeting from your Google uh, Mail, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Safari here. This is my Google Mail, and I can go ahead and uh, actually start um, composing an email, okay? So let me go ahead over here, I'm gonna start composing an email. Um, and as I'm composing this email, I'm thinking, hey, I, I need to schedule that meeting. When was it? When do I need to schedule that meeting? And if you come right down here, and you look down on, <coughs> it's so tiny, you can so easily miss this, yeah? There's a little tab here, if you click on that little tab, it brings up um, your add-ons, okay? So this is the side panel with your add-ons in it. You can go ahead and add some really nifty add-ons here. Okay, so click on here. You can find some really nifty add-ons. You've got Zoom and uh, Cisco WebEx here. If you go down, you've got like Evernote, you've got To-Do List, Dropbox, really, really good um, links here to some add-ons. Now, I'm not gonna use any of these add-ons because what I'm talking about is a native add-on to um, the sidebar, okay? And it's your calendar. So from here, you can access your calendar. Uh, and not only can you access your calendar, you can go ahead and look for um, a particular date, for example. So I know I need to schedule this meeting with this particular participant. I'm gonna go to my calendar here and I'm gonna say, you know what? It was a Sunday, it's Sunday the 6th. Okay, I'm gonna click on that, and then I can click on a time here, okay, that I'm free, so I don't have anything going on. I know when I'm free anyway, because if I go to my schedule app, uh, I can see uh, when I'm not, um, don't have any contact time, and I'm not teaching, so that's the period that I wanna schedule it for. So, so 11 o'clock here. So I'm gonna go ahead back to my email, and I'm gonna click on 11, and that's gonna pull this up, okay? What I can do from here, is I can go ahead and schedule the time. So I'm gonna schedule it for 11 to about 11.15, 15 minute meeting, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the guest here as well, okay? So let me start typing in this guest. Okay, so I've added the student um, or the participant to this meeting. Uh, it's it's gonna send out a Google Meet, okay? So I wanna go ahead and say, yeah, let's add a Google Meet to this. Uh, and then I've got my participants here. It says guests permissions. Go click on guest permissions. I don't want this guest to invite anyone else because um, uh, it's, it's a private meeting between me and the guest. We're gonna schedule some uh, activity um, and provide some feedback. So I don't think the guest needs to invite others. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Uh, so there isn't much of a guest list. I can cut that off as well. And we can go ahead and save this. And then it says, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? Uh, and yes, we wanna send out the invite and it's gonna send that to the student, right? So now that I've got that, I'm gonna go click on this and I'm gonna go and get the Google Meet link, yeah? So if I click on these squares, I've copied the link to my clipboard. I'm gonna go ahead here and now write out my email. And of course, you've got it in your calendar so you can see uh, what you're scheduled to do. Okay, so if I go here, I can see, oh, you know what? I've got a meeting now on Sunday at 11. There's another one at two. I'm teaching between this time, so, so I'm good. If like many of us, you never knew that little tab existed in the corner down below, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. For more educational tech tips, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.